another Sinistry video, and I wanted to talk about the square between the Sun and Uranus, and what happens when we see this. So, the Sun is our expression, our, our pull to be appreciated for what we are, our identity and our ego, and a lot about what makes us feel good and happy for, um, for being appreciated. And a lot about, you know, it's a big, 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 big part of our outer uh, personality and our characteristics. And um, Uranus is where we are willing to go our own way, where we are very individualistic and have a penchant for doing our own thing, uh, where we are more apt to be rebellious and non-traditional and to go um, a different way when it's called for. And so when these two meet in a square aspect, we can see some friction between what the sun person is and what the Uranus person is. Um, the sun person generally finds things in the Uranus person's behavior um, unacceptable or disturbing somehow. Uh, because we have a conflict between somebody's identity and somebody else's sense of individuality. They are in friction. So, you know, the sun person can be, you know, prone to lecturing the Uranus person. They can point out things that aren't necessarily what they would like to see in somebody who's, you know, mature or, um, you know, thinking about the things that are important. So some judgments can come in based on what the sun person is and what they see uh, to be wrong in the Uranus person. And the Uranus person generally does not respond well to this. They will back away. They can get pretty offended by this assessment. Um, you know, they have conflicting personalities when it comes to what one sees, um, what, what, generally what both see as acceptable characteristics. So. Uranus is where we are more free or unguarded. And when, we are, when that part of us is met with uh, expectations or judgments, um, we generally don't take kindly to that. Uranus is not like Neptune. It doesn't stand down. It's that part of us that really is willing to go its own way if we have to. And the Uranus person can very much rebel in this particular square. I actually see this um, aspect a lot in the chart of lesbians. And it's common in those types of relationships where one person is very interested, but the other person is very much uh, just out of reach or not giving in or not uh, responding the way that the sun person uh, would like. And so it's common to have this uh, between two people who have some pretty individualistic qualities within their own selves, and then they get together and there's a little bit of a, um, it's, a, it's, a it's a tough sell when it comes to this particular square. Um, you would hope that in the rest of the synastry, we're going to have a lot more connective things. Maybe we're going to have the moon sitting with the sun, or we're going to have, um, you know, really good Jupiter, moon, Venus stuff going on. Um, uh, you know, so it can kind of balance this particular square out because you are going to feel this particular square. Um, so it's one where the sun person has to be very aware that they are just simply different when it comes to 
what they find traditional or non-traditional and what they find uh, to be exciting or non-exciting. And the Uranus person needs to understand that they get to be exactly who they are, regardless of what the Sun person says or thinks or wants or doesn't want. And um, sometimes we have to live and let live with this particular square because there do, does tend to be a certain amount of uh, expectation on the Sun person's part for the Uranus person to be different or to change or to tone it down. and it generally doesn't work because Uranus, again, is that part of us that is very, very independent and doesn't stand down. It wants to do its own thing. And so this is one where we really don't generally come to a agreement or, or, or to resolution with this one. We have to live and let live. Let the other person be who they are. Uh, the Uranus person is just going to have some impulses and some reactions that are very different from the Sun person and you're just going to have to learn to look the other way and allow them to be themselves unless you want this to become something where the Uranus person starts to push away from you and starts to rebel and they will find other people to be themselves in the company of. So um, we have to have some major tolerance with this particular square if we want things to work out in a way where we aren't um, ending up pretty frustrated with each other. So I hope this was helpful. If it was, please subscribe to my channel. You can find me on the internet at truthandaspectastrology.com and on Facebook and Instagram at Truth and Aspect Astrology. Yes, I do private consultation. And I will be back super soon with more super cool videos.